My 200th video is right around the corner, and I still have not showed everybody what is in my dock. So thanks to ScreenFlow, great application by the way, and my Mac Pro, I finally have the power to do so. So let's jump right into it, and I will launch each application to kind of give you guys a um, quick preview to kind of make this video different from the other ones in my dock videos. So first of all, here's Finder, nothing special, just opens up a new Finder window in my home folder. Dictionary which I actually find myself using pretty often. For instance, if I, if I want to search apple, I can't even spell it right, there we go. The round fruit of a tree of the rose family. Pretty boring stuff, but cool nonetheless. My mail application, I have a lot of email to get through. Use that every single day of my life, multiple upon multiple times a day. Safari, uh, it's actually my preferred web browser. And there's my Mac rumors as my homepage. Uh, Firefox, I actually use this for streaming, which is why when it opens, it goes to my Ustream window. Let me drag it over here to broadcast for my website at thecreative1.tv. Shameless plug. iChat, I don't use it that much, but I was actually on today for a video conference with a client of mine. So, very cool application. Colloquy is actually the program I use for the chat. It was just on my Dell display, but I'll bring it over here real quick. This is an excellent... Um, application hmm oh wow look at this King Microsoft says max equals gayest piece of shit ever made wow you gotta love haters you gotta love ignorant people out there anyway that was a great timing fetch excellent 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 I cannot say that enough FTP application I actually use this for my website at the creative one TV second shameless plug I don't really care though um, this is basically here to drag and drop my files and stuff like that it just it's just it's just a great application and it's free for educational users twit live desktop actually somebody made this using the new adobe air platform i i open it and it goes to twit live at twitlive.tv and it basically shows a live video usually leo laporte's uh, there doing something and there he is working with the open source community there and you wanted to uh but you tell a story it's a nice little shortcut rather than opening safari first then going to Twit live from here. And as you can see, launching the desktop is much, much more quicker. The desktop client, rather, I should say. Can Twist is actually the application I use to display. So when you just got kicked in my chat room, probably King Microsoft, to display my video. And I'll show you a preview. And there is the setup I usually use. Although, let me switch this. For some reason, it always messes it up. And yeah, there's me. Hello. Again, that is for my website. Here's iTunes. Nothing special, just iTunes. I have a lot of music to get back since I just started a clean. Since since I just had a clean start. Excuse me. There's my applications for my iPhone. This video's not too in depth, so let me just get on with it. QuickTime Player. Use that all the time. iMovie HD. So actually opening my Mac Pro Repair since it's my last project I worked on. Final Cut Express, which I don't use that often, but I'm going to start using that a lot more lately, just to give you a preview of videos to come, and quit that. ScreenFlow, I'm actually using that right now. World of Warcraft, I don't find myself playing as much as I used to, but um, I really need to get into it again. Let me log in here. Yes, I am fiercing on the um, server Echo Isles. And there you go. I don't have any friends online, so let me exit this. Very cool. Here's iPhoto. Um, I, don't, I don't have my full photo collection in here yet, so nothing really special. That's just stuff we sold on eBay recently, or are, are going to sell on eBay. Photo booth. Pretty self-explanatory. It's photo booth. Everybody loves photo booth. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's me. What's up? Close that. Photoshop CS3. I use this all the time. Um, to give you a free preview of my newest site, I'm gonna be working on PluggerTube.com. So, a little free preview there. Close that. Dreamweaver. This application is a godsend. This is the application that drives my website. For instance, if I open index.html, there's my website. 
Nothing's really showing up right now because technically the images and, and, and stuff are located on the server rather than my local disk. So that's that's why it looks like that. Microsoft Word. 2004. Let's create a new document here. And there you go, nothing special. Unexpected. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what that's about. I have to fix that. Then Excel. Again, not very interesting, but I figured I, I would do my video differently and actually launch the applications for you guys. There's Excel, nothing different. And there it goes again. Um, I actually use that to keep track of my sponsors on my website. System preferences, nothing special, just a lot of other stuff. And some extra things I have down here. iStat menus, which is what drives this up here. My CPU usage, my memory usage, temperatures, fan speeds, and stuff like that. And sizzling keys, which actually shows me what um, song is playing. For instance, if I play a song right now, I will pick um, this song from The Sims 1. As you can see, it shows up down here. So I, I find that really convenient. And if I switch songs, it actually shows it down there too. And yes, I have very unique taste in music. But yes, very cool. Then finally down here, my download stack, which you guys don't really have to say nothing exciting there. My trash, I'll actually empty that right now. And that's basically it. Um, I apologize for this video being longer than the usual What's on My Doc. But as you know, I talk a lot and I wanted to use a different style for this video series. So that's it. And yeah, thanks for watching.